นวนเชียยูเมนาโปรซีดนวนเชียมิสเตอร์ประสิดันต์ may I correct uh, two words the eight t million hectares should have been said eight million instead number two Vietnam entered Cambodia on the 17th of January 1990 should have been restated as the 7th of January 1979. Some change, man. Nunchi, my heart uh, condition. It's not a very good. May I request that the session be deferred to tomorrow? The president, uh, indeed, uh, it has been a 20-minute uh, break, uh, break already. You may take it easy. I, we understand that uh, we understand your age and uh, your strength. So if uh, you can proceed slowly. We can still proceed. Nun um I think uh, I perhaps need to have a break now. The president, the chamber still proceed with the questioning to you. We will take 30 minutes after uh, from now and we will consider how we can deal with uh, the your request uh, tomorrow. In particular, when it comes to um, your request for a break, I would like to hand over to Judge Silvercat try to proceed uh, with further questions to Nguyen Chia. Thank you, President. Uh, Mr. Nguyen Chia, I just want to return briefly uh, to finish the discussion about Tu Samut's disappearance. You have told us that you went round to his house and immediately suspected that he had been arrested. Did you, after that, arrange for his family to be evacuated from Phnom Penh into the area where the um, Workers' Party underground was living at the time, so that they would be safe? Was that the situation? At that time, I could not judge that uh, he had been arrested or had a traffic accident. I did not make any decision or had any comment uh, to make uh, to his family. I rushed to return home and reported to Salot Saw that Tu Samut had disappeared. I, uh, I told so Lord saw that I asked uh, his wife where he could have been or have gone. Then she said uh, he had gone to the market and not yet returned. I had some discussion with Sir Lord saw how to deal with this situation. Because according to the principle, if he were to be arrested, 
uh, the location where he resided at had to be changed. But at that time, Salot Saw did not make any decision, and he asked me to wait and search because uh, he had uh, people who worked at the military and hospital who could uh, search for the information concerning Tu Samut. He then asked uh, people at the military and the hospital to locate uh, Tu Samut, but to no avail. A few days later, Some friends at the military were asked uh, to look for him. We were told that from the military, uh, Khmer Rouge leader, important Khmer Rouge leader, was arrested and kept at. Lonald's house and tortured, uh, and we suspected that it could have been him. It could have been Mr. Tusamut who had been arrested. And later on, we were reported that he had been tortured because he refused to confess. Consequently, he was taken to be killed at Stung Mienche Pagoda, as I already indicated. Thank you. And was his family then evacuated from Phnom Penh so that they would be safe? Penu. Response. So far as I recollect, at that time, the family was not yet evacuated. But there was no problem at that time as yet. Only at a later date that the family was evacuated, but uh, I do not remember the exact date because I had no further contact with the family ever since. Thank you. Now, you said before that you went to, in answer to my question, that you went to Vietnam along with some other people. Was that for political training and for military training? Response. So far as I remember, I was sent to attend political sessions by the party not uh, attending the military sessions. And were you in Vietnam for two years in between 1951 and 1953, along with other people? Response. It was correct, but uh, the date was not correct uh, because I went to Vietnam. Uh, I, I went to Vietnam in 1951 and uh, by only year 1953 that I, t I attended the training session. So how long did you live in Vietnam for your political training? Response, uh, it was more than a year, but I 
did not attend a regular sessions. At that time in Vietnam, there was a movement at the paddy fields, um, and uh, I during the study session I had to really observe the. demonstration at the paddy fields uh, to see what it was going that's why i did not really attend the session more regularly you did receive some military training at some stage however because you became a senior member in the Ca communist party of Campuchia in charge of certain military responsibilities when did you receive military training? Response. I think that observation is not correct. I never attended a military session. I heard in the statement by the prosecutors that I studied uh, in the military sessions, but I never done that course uh, before, or attended that uh, session before. After the Geneva Conference and Accords, you've described the country as being in a state of chaos. Was it during that period that the local communist movement became much stronger because there was much dislike of the Vietnamese for not allowing the Cambodians to participate in the Geneva Conference? Response. After the Geneva Accord, uh, the movement was not very strong. It was weakened. The whole movement was almost ground to a halt, as I already indicated. The Geneva Agreement or Accord on Cambodia issues was to demobilize the militaries and asked that all resistant groups be dismissed or dispersed uh, to be civilians and or to live in their society as normal to help the government but they were persecuted because they were accused of being the Khmer Viet Minh they were arrested oppressed executed in particular during the general election in the Sangkum Ria Niyum. Some were arrested and people had to sell their land to secure the release of their loved ones. Many had to escape. Many went to the jungle. The jungle in the southwest, the northwest, and other locations. People 
was on a run and there were only two branches but the only the the remaining branches were more symbolic the one in tramka and the one uh, elsewhere as i already indicated uh, and did the uh, workers party see the need to establish a secret defense unit to protect, protect its cadre and its political activities, as well as to attack the enemy. Response. So far as I remember at the beginning, there was no such a unit. People were on the run. But because they, they were mistreated, there was a riot or rebellion movement in some load. I don't recall the date. Their rebellion took place in some load. The situation was intense because uh, when people were seen reading newspaper, that uh, would be enough for them to be arrested. They were accused and Lonol spies were everywhere to hunt them down. So the movement got more intense because of this oppression that, uh, that led to the uprising in some load. And this was the cause of this situation i'm i'm rather exhausted uh, your honor The President, since the accused has indicated that he has been helping the Chamber responding to questions for the whole day already and that uh, he is tired he would like 
to take a break. The chamber notes that uh, the request uh, is plausible and that we would like him to have some rest and have enough energy to return to the courtroom for further questions. For that reason, the chamber will adjourn and the next session will be resumed tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Parties and the public are advised to come to uh, this courtroom and public gallery by 9 o'clock. Uh, the security personnel are now instructed to take all the accused back to the detention facility and bring them to the courtroom as the, uh, during the indicated time. The court is now adjourned.